Welcome back friends. Today we've got another kind of vlog style, but also what I eat in a day. So it is currently at 1239 and the kids and I are heading off to run some errands. If you're new around here, I do hope that you enjoy the video. Consider subscribing to be part of the family. I would love to have you along. As I mentioned, it's about 12.39. We're heading off to run some errands. I've got my blue handy dandy low carb, not low carb, zero carb, zero sugar rock star. Many of you know that I start my days this way. Um, usually instead of coffee, I actually stayed up a bit late. I was still awake when my husband went to work, which is saying something because he goes to work very, very, very early, like hours before the sun comes up. I slept in, the kids slept in, Jackson woke up complaining of a little bit of a cough, so I need to get some daytime non-drowsy cough medicine. He hates taking cough medicine, so I'll be lucky if I can get, even get it into his system. Alice just had her allergy medicine, she takes Flonase, and then she takes Zyrtec in the evening. But I showered, I did my hair, I did my makeup, I'm wearing my cute dress that I got in my last Nadine West video. I love this dress so much, it's like my favorite. You hear a helicopter. It's probably a rescue copter because we're close to the hospital. Can't see it though. I have to pick up a few things at Kroger. They're having a 99 cent cheese sale and 99 cent cereal sale, like max of five when you use their Kroger coupon app. I told the kids if they were good, what do you guys get if you're good? Ice cream. Ice cream. We've got um, free coupons at Dairy Queen for the summer reading program through our library for a free small vanilla cone. So I'm bribing my children because taking my children in public, both of them together, is like not my favorite thing. One of them or the other of them and me is fine, but both of them together tend to drive me crazy. So along with my Rockstar, I grabbed a portable snack. These are called Peely Nuts. The cool thing about these, this little pack right here on keto, right? 12 grams of fat, two grams of protein, and zero net carbs. This is the highest oil content and lowest carb content of any nut on the planet Earth. If I'm still hungry after that, because I don't know how long we're gonna be gone, I've got like a handful of cheese wisps left in here that I can snack on and then get home and have lunch. And while I'm sitting at a stop sign, these are what the peeling nuts look like. Kind of like, I guess, slivers of almonds, but they definitely have a different texture and taste. But they are delicious. Shopping with kids, it's a pain in the butt. Mainly because our Kroger just redid like their whole store layout and so finding things was a pain in the butt. But they had some pretty good deals and I grabbed a lot of goodies and a few Ibotta things. I don't know if I'll show it to you all when I get home. Um, I've got a big grocery haul coming up this week for like our actual groceries and then I still just keep stopping at stores and grabbing like their lost leaders for the week. We are headed off to the Dollar Tree because I had some of you viewers tell me that my favorite pickles, the Vlasic Purely Pickles, they've been finding them at Dollar Tree so I'm gonna go look and see if they have those and if they do I'm gonna stock up because I go through at least one jar a week. Dollar Tree, you disappoint. No pickles. Pretty tasty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're melting. All right, so we are home. I did not show you what we got. We ended up getting more than I thought. I did get a few Ibotta deals. Um, at Meyer. they had this Jenny O turkey, um, seasoned ones on sale for $3 with a $1.10 Ibotta, limit of five, but they only had three. That's actually what I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. So I did eat the rest of those cheese wisps and when I was in the car, there was like a handful in there. They're almost gone. I've got a bottle of a broken bottle of water and I did some of the Mansports Scorch in there which is this. This is the strawberry kiwi and it is a energizer and fat burner and I learned about Mansports from now her name is escaping me Catherine Solemn, Solemn something, I'll link it down below. But she works for that company and she has a coupon code on her YouTube page and she uses a lot of the subs, uh, supplements there. So I really like the strawberry kiwi. What I really wanted to get was the L-carnitine liquid from there, but they've been out of stock ever since I've been wanting to order. Yes, dear? I need help. What are you doing? My homework. So I've got the kids doing some worksheets. Um, they enjoyed an ice cream cone as you saw in the car. And now they're doing some worksheets here at the table. So I'm going to help them and probably start dinner because it is four o'clock and Will's already home. He just went off for a run. 
So I've just got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a small bit of diced onion and garlic. And I'm gonna put our taco meat in there. I've got a pot that I'm going to boil water because the kids are going to have some goulash. I love goulash. You love goulash. Love made, hold on one moment. Made with this Italian seasoned. And I've got the taco seasoned for Will and I. What are you having for dinner, crazy eyes? <laughs> so I'm sorry with some brownie cool whip. Brownie and cool whip. And so and a taco. And a taco. Alice, what do you have? Do with strawberries. Goulash. I need to get your strawberries. I do you? Well, you want, have you guys seen this? I got this for basically the kids and Will. It's the Cool Whip Mixins with brownie. Meyer had them 10 for 10. I also got some just regular. And here's the hodgepodge of what's going on on my kitchen counter. Um, I was gonna have a taco salad, but I forgot I had two of these low carb uh, tortillas left. I'm gonna use one, I think it's five net carbs. Uh, so I've got that with some sour cream, some of the Jenny O turkey, um, taco seasoned turkey mix, some taco, expertly paired taco cheese, a little bit of paste salsa, I'm gonna slice up a little bit of onion because I really love onion. And then I did a few drops of the green dragon hot sauce. And then if I'm still hungry after this, I will likely have a small taco salad. And then I need to cut up some strawberries for Will. He's in the shower right now. I'm gonna make him a few tacos and we're gonna sit down and probably watch some TV. And it is 5.33 and I know I have not eaten that much today. I will likely make up for it later this evening. But yesterday I ate from morning until night. Like it was ridiculous. And it was all keto friendly foods. Um, I was just starving. And I don't know if it's cause when I was on vacation up in Michigan, I didn't stick to keto. So of course I had carbs and sugar and didn't really follow my keto diet. Cause it's a little bit harder when I'm around, especially my family because I can't resist my mom's cooking and baking my dad's grilling but I tried to do my best and tried to make healthy choices but needless to say when I got home and started like nailing down my keto eating ways again um, yesterday I was just eating from morning till night and in between the eating I was downing water like crazy thinking okay well maybe I'm just dehydrated but I ate all day so I think maybe today I'm not quite as hungry we're gonna sit down will worked 13 hours today or no 12 hours today came home from work, he ran five miles after that. He's now in the shower, he helped the kids with their worksheets. Oh no, do you know what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? Yep, it's coming down. So it is 6.38, I was going to eat something else. The taco did me okay. I opted for some iced herbal tea. This is femininity. This is good for that time of the month. We got apple, ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, fennel, juniper berries, raspberry leaves, chamomile, ladies, ladies mantle, cloves, orange peel, St. John's wort, black pepper, silverweed. It's delicious. And the way I've been drinking it is I will, if you've seen some of my videos, you've seen this little gadget. This is called a breezy. And you put hot water in here and then the loose leaf tea. And after you've steeped it, you set it on top of a cup and it strains to the bottom so you don't get the leaves. Pour it over ice or just put it in the fridge. This one was actually refrigerated overnight with about a teaspoon of this Splenda Naturals and a few shakes of this True Lemon Crystallized Lemon. And it tastes so good. It's kind of like a fancy lemonade, but the St. John's Wort and all the other stuff in there makes me feel amazing. So I'll leave links if you want some information on it. This is probably my new favorite combo of tea at the moment. So I'm going to go enjoy that and watch some TV with my husband and probably have dessert a little bit later. So I drank one glass of this tea. In here I've got my sweetener and my true lemon and some ice cubes. I did dissolve the sweetener and true lemon in a little bit of hot water, put the ice in. My tea has been steeping. What are you doing over here? You're making the weirdest noises. Anyway, back to this. Um, but I just wanted to show for those of you who have not seen this, how this works. This is the breezy and look at it go. Then I just let it sit there and let it 
completely drip through. And then all your mess of loose leaf tea, which is so much more flavorful, goes there. So this will be my second cup of tea. And fun little fact too, when you're done with this, it's got this little tree that you can set it on so that you don't drip all over. Yeah, it's like 7.30 and Will's about to go to bed because he's on day three of his work week and he's already worked 35 hours. He worked 73 hours last week, most of which the kids and I were gone for, um, but meant that he still didn't even really get much alone time for like his gaming and his own hobbies. And what are you about to show me? 29% battery. <laughs> I got Will, or the kids and I got Will, an Apple Watch for his birthday slash Father's Day. And of course, the sleep log is always kind of entertaining since he doesn't sleep much. So as you can see, last night he went to bed at 8.05 and woke up at 2.25, five hours and 25 minutes of sleep. But yeah. then it tells like his three-day sleep charge and like basically he's running on a nearly empty battery. On uh, Wednesday, three hours and 10 minutes of sleep. That was a yeah. great idea. So he's going to bed right now at about seven. He'll probably be asleep by eight, hopefully. Try and get a little bit more charge on that battery so I don't feel like trash all day. Yes. Yeah. Well, hello you. Uh, that since when I have to clean a mess at 3 a.m. Do you have to clean a mess at 3 a.m.? You know your brother's not your boss, right? Well, okay. I'll wake you up before I leave. No. Why not? Mess to clean up. Because I already cleaned so. it. You already cleaned your mess? Yeah. Okay. So this breezy right here is probably my favorite tea accessory like ever. It keeps me from having to use the biodegradable tea sacks and then like you just rinse it and it's ready to go again. I'm gonna leave a link down below because if you like loose leaf tea and you don't have something like this, I know for this month right now, when you spend $65, you get this on sale for 12 and it's normally like almost 40 itself. And then of course, if you wanna check out the femininity tea, it's amazing and I love it. And then there's matcha and basically everything on the site I absolutely love. And it's 9.05 and I'm wanting more tea. So I'm gonna do um, some black tea, which I do have my timer going, because black tea goes for about two and a half uh, to three minutes. All the directions are on the bags. It's kind of foolproof. But I'm doing a blend of almond chocolate tort with maraschino cherry. So I'm thinking it'll be kind of like a black forest cake. I've got a little bit of my favorite Stevia Splenda. Um, this Splenda Naturals with Stevia, which is what I always use. And I'm also going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to it. So I'm gonna let this steep for a few minutes. Hopefully this turns out as good as I'm hoping. I've just really been in the mood for tea. I've got these Smart Cakes. Um, they sent them to me and I am so excited. I actually tried one of the coconut ones the other night and I tried chocolate last night. I have not tried the tangerine and I have not tried the cinnamon. These are like perfection for keto. Let me show you the nutritional label. All of them have the same pretty much nutritional values. There's 38 calories, five grams of fiber, non-GMO. Um, you get these from the Smart Baking Company. I'm gonna leave some information down below. Let me get my tea because black tea does go bitter. I'll get back to you on this. Give me one moment. All right, so my tea's been going for about two and a half minutes here. Uh, like there is literally an entire cherry in here. If you've not had the pleasure of seeing loose leaf, I know it looks kind of funky, but that is a maraschino cherry in my tea. I'm gonna put a little bit of the hot liquid in to dissolve the uh, sugar I had in there. Let me add a little bit of ice real quick. I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream because this is gonna help with fat content and make it a little bit creamier. I didn't measure, I'd say that's maybe a tablespoon close to two. And I'm just gonna let the rest of the tea go in there and hope it doesn't overflow. I think I did good, yep, it's right at the top. Um, so I'm just gonna let that completely kind of drain through. So back to these smart cakes. Uh, serving size is one cake, but the way they come packaged in these boxes is two little cake muffin things per pouch, 
and there's two pouches. So there's two little cakes in here and there's two packages of two. So each box has four. 38 calories, zero starch, zero sugar, five fiber, four protein. They are like decadent. I cannot believe how soft they are, how moist they are. And I apologize for those of you who hate that word because I know there's like a lot of people that hate that M word, but there's really no better way to explain it. Not to mention it's summer break and I was awake way too late last night. I think I went to bed finally just before 4 a.m. because like I said, I was waiting up for Will. I was watching The Handmaid's Tale on Hulu, trying to catch up on that. And I watched an episode and I was like, well, I'll watch another one. And then I was like, well, Will's gonna be getting up in less than an hour. So then I watched some more. And then I, it didn't really dawn on me that just because he's getting up in less than an hour, that's not when he comes downstairs, which is where I was watching TV. So by the time he came downstairs, it was like closer to 3 a.m. And I just chatted with him for a little bit before he went to work. And um, it was just kind of nice to see him and help him get his lunch and stuff together. I make his lunches ahead of time, but made sure he had his ice water bottle filled up and all that. And we just kind of chatted for a few. So that was nice before I actually went to bed. But that meant I didn't wake up until 11 o'clock this morning. But either did the kids. So we're really taking full advantage of this whole summer thing. I don't know, like I said, I can't remember what I've talked about this morning. Um, it might just be my body recuperating from the traveling and whatnot. My shingles has all but dried up, so my eye is fine now. Thank God for antivirals. But I'm gonna drink my tea. I will come back to you. I might actually make my dessert right now. That way I'm not eating too late. I don't typically like to eat this late at night. I'll see if the kids want a snack and I'll show you what we're eating so that I can wrap this up and get it edited and put up for tomorrow morning. I also have a really big grocery haul to do. I did not include the goodies that we bought today at, they both want to speak as you can see. Um, I didn't include the stuff I got from Kroger. I did end up finding my pickles at Dollar Tree. We went to a second one on our way to getting their ice cream cones because it was right next door. My only gripe about it is that I usually get the Purely Pickles Spears and these were the stackers, but they were a buck, so I don't even care. They're making duck calls at me, I don't even know. Jackson's eating sunflower seeds like they're going out of style. Okay, hold on one second. What do you guys need to say? Okay. Yep, they need to get ready for bed because. Please. No, please. Children. Yes, it's your babies. We've got what? Baby Emma and Mr. Monkey, huh? Alice bought baby Emma with her own birthday money, didn't you? Yes, for my birthday. Yeah. Okay, can I finish this up so I can close it down? What kind of videos do you guys want to see? I'm trying to do more like laid back, easy ones that are easy to edit just because I can get them up sooner without as much turnaround time. I know coming up I've got about three or four air fryer recipes that have been requested. I've got a Nadine West unboxing I need to do. I have a Grove Collaborative unboxing I need to do. The air fryer ones, I'm gonna do like a quick how I make my pepperoni chips for keto. I'm going to do a quick fried pickles that someone has, a few of you have asked for. I thought there was something else with the air fryer. I've been using the air fryer a lot. Not necessarily for keto, but just for like a bunch of frozen stuff for the kids, like, you know, chicken nuggets and sweet potato fries and stuff like that. But let me make my dessert. That way I can close this out. This video is probably going to be so long, but I've missed you all. And it's been a while since I vlogged because I did not vlog at all the 10 days I was in Michigan. So let me taste my tea, get my dessert ready, and then I will tell you goodnight. All right, so I opted for the Tangerine Smart Cake. Um, just one out of the two. And then I did dice up just two strawberries here and a dollop of Cool Whip, which not homemade, but you know what? It is what it is. I want to show you how amazingly soft these cakes are. So let me see if I can capture. So it's got a little bit of like a sugary glaze on top. Now watch. Can you hear that? It's so soft. I want to eat them all day long. I'm just glad I got a picture before I demolished that. So I'm going to enjoy this with my tea, catch up on some YouTube. And if you're interested in the Smart Cakes, they also have hamburger buns. So I'm excited to have 
um, a turkey burger or a uh -uh, cheeseburger probably tomorrow for lunch because they've got zero carb buns um, 72 calories gluten-free non-gmo 10 grams of protein 12 grams of fiber zero net carbs magic it's like it's made out of unicorns it's got to be but if you're interested in these smart cakes or smart buns i will leave the link down below you can get 10 percent off your order because they have been super generous to give me a coupon code for all of you um so try them out guys i don't you're not going to be disappointed they are just amazing and with that i'm going to enjoy this snack the kids just went upstairs to wind down for the night that does not mean they won't be back, but I'm gonna go do this, edit the video, get it up, and hopefully still have time to do some reading tonight. I just finished an audiobook that was 18 hours long called The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Very good, multiple twists and turns. Um, leave me some book recommendations down below. I've been reading a whole lot more. I don't care if it's an audiobook or a book book because I use audiobooks when I'm traveling or like cleaning around the house and then at night when I'm laying in bed I actually read books so I usually have anywhere from two to three books going at once which I try not to do but it's working okay so thank you so much for watching thanks for coming along with us today drop me a comment down below give me some love I know it's been a while since we've seen each other but I've got a big grocery haul coming your way soon and let me know what else you'd like to see in the near future. I do have a favorites video in the works. It's been a hot minute or 60 since I've done one of those, one of my coffee talks. I just have to make sure I have enough items to talk about because I don't do a whole lot of shopping. So until next time, good night and I will see you later, bye.